Hello and welcome to a UE5 tutorial. Now UE4 and UE5 have a feature called retargeting. However, in UE4, this old bone by bone system has actually been replaced by a new bone chain system in Unreal Engine 5, making it a very different setup to accomplish retargeting. So in this episode, we're gonna go through the process of how to use retargeting system in Unreal Engine 5, taking animations from one skeleton and applying them to the mesh of another skeleton. So let's begin. So as previously mentioned, the retargeting system from UE4 doesn't exist anymore. There's a brand new one for UE5 uh, and it's kind of a bit more complicated to set up, but it does have a lot more uses. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I've brought in here uh, some assets from the marketplace. I've got uh, this model of this character. Okay. All of which obviously are using different skeletons. So his skeletons over here. Um, fortunately, he's using the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton, but obviously this can work with any other one like Mixamo or whatever you like too. So you've got that one. And I've also got some animations from the Anim Starter Pack in here too, which are your standard like shooting ones that you may find. So the aim is to have our character there use these animations here. So previously, the old retargeting system is a bone per bone retargeting system. You say this bone equals this bone, so animations should match across. Whereas the new one is more of like a bone chain system. So you say like the arm is from here to here, figure it out. And the leg is from here to here, figure it out. And the engine will figure it out and, and, and tell you and give you a good result, hopefully, at the end of it. So the setup for this is you have to go to each of your skeletons you want to use. So let's go into the male character we've got here. And we're going to go into the mesh. And then I'll click up here to the skeleton. Now he is using the same skeleton layout but it's a different skeleton asset so it should be uh prime for setup here now the main thing with this skeleton here is we want to create an ik rig of this skeleton now even though we're not using ik for this we still need to create an ik rig now all you do is i tend to want to keep it in the same location as the normal skeleton or um anything else really in here uh, like the meshes, uh, let's just put it in the actual place of the actual skeleton, which I think is in here. Yep, there it is. So we'll just put it in alongside this. So you find in the animation section, you'll find the IK rig. You choose this, it'll ask you to choose which skeleton you want to use, and we'll use this skeleton here, the UE4 mannequin skeleton. Um, oh, if I, actually, this gets you the meshes, so let's use the mesh. There we go. Uh, so we use, and call this one man. IK rig, so it's named very similar. So you open this up, and there it is. Okay, now for the setup for this, what you have to do, you have to identify the different chains that you may have in here. The more you have, the better, and more accurate you will have your retarget be. The main thing is, is that the poses are the same, first of all. So um, fortunately, the pose here is exactly the same. If not, you want to change it. The way you change it is exactly the same as you did it before. You just go into the actual skeleton, go to retarget sources, and you can modify the pose up here. Um, so exactly the same as it is in Unreal Engine 4. But in this case, they're posed already the same. So back on my IK rig, I need to set up the chains. Now, the chains are set up over here on the right-hand side. It's the IK retargeting. It's one of the tabs down here in the bottom. So as you can see, he's using just the standard third person character stuff, um, but let's retarget him. So we're going to add a new chain and we're going to do one for the head, starting at the neck bone and ending at the head bone. Pretty simple one, that one. Not much in it. IK goal, we're not going to touch because we're not doing IK. And in here we're going to do each of the limbs. So we do arm L for arm left. And this is going to start with a clavicle or shoulder and it'll go down to the hand. So that whole left arm has now been chained here. And we're going to add another one. Arm underscore R. The clavicle R. And R. Add new bone. We'll do legs. Leg L. And foot L, and finally leg R. 
Now, this can seem like a bit more work because we don't have that auto remapping thing. I, I've been told that Epic are going to be streamlining this workflow a little bit. So probably look forward to something like an auto mapper where it'll do a setup with all this basic stuff that is very common um, with just one click of the mouse. So look forward to that in future revisions of, of Unreal 5. Uh, this is in preview two. So uh, if you're doing this a lot later than well, after it's been released, this may already been there for you. So hey, it solves you that uh, time. So here I've got my different limbs set up and my head. Uh, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one for the spine. Um, spine, and we'll do spine O one to spine O three. Okay, hit save on there. Next, we need to identify where the retargeting root should be recorded from. So this is where you say uh, this is the root bone in this model's case. Uh, this is very useful for things like if you're looking at Mixamo, where the root bone is different from the UE4 mannequin. So you can actually manually say to it, hey, this is now the root bone. In this case, these are using the UE4 mannequin, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we can use the root or the pelvis to use the root. So just right click on the root and do set retargeted root. And hit save. And that's the first one done. You now want to go ahead and do this again, but for the other skeleton. So we're going to go back to our content folder. To animation starter pack and look at our skeleton here. So we go to IK uh, rig. And then here we're going to choose this mesh here. So SK mannequin. Just want to make sure you get the right one because they often get similar named. Just make sure you pick the one that is from the same folder. That one. And we'll do this one as um, mannequin IK rig. And this one, open it up, and you do exactly the same. So you want to add exactly the same roots, um, sorry, root um, chains, but please make sure that they are named the same uh, so it knows what to match with what. So head, and then you pick what bones associate with the head chain. So if you've got a different skeleton with different named bones, you just choose the ones that are associated with that bone. So what one's the neck bone, what one's the top of the head bone, and you just pick those ones and I think inside that chain will be associated to the chain of animation data in the other one so that's how it works so oh mess that up um L once you've done all those set up uh, the same way as you had on the other one. Don't forget to highlight the bone that you want to be the retarget root. Make sure it's exactly the same as the other one. There we go. So there's our two IK rigs. So now the actual process of doing the retargeting. So what you need to do is we need to create an IK retargeter. So you go to animation folder and you'll see IK retargeter. And after you choose what one you want to copy animations from. And we want to copy animations from the mannequin IK rig. So we're going to choose this one. And we're going to open this up. And you should see all the animations from the animation starter pack all sitting here. We then want to up top choose the target IK rig asset to be used. The source one you can't change because that's the one that you vote based it on. But the target one, you choose it to whichever one you want to swap these animations to. So if you've got like a set of animations, you want to retarget different meshes and different skeletons, you can just set up one IK retargeter for each pack of animations. So in this case, I'm going to retarget them to the man. When you do that, you'll see your two characters standing side by side. Now there's various settings up top here where you can change the scale, the offset, where they position themselves. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. That's just there for visual stuff. The main thing is that you want to go down to the bottom and you'll see this option for chain mapping. Click on this. And we should see the chain mapping here. You should see the names line up and you should see the options that you can choose from. If they're named the same, it should automatically do it for you. Just double check, if they're not named the same, it's not the end of the world, you can just choose what one from the list it is. And if you're having troubles here, just click auto map and it should appear if it doesn't appear straight away. So if all that's worked, you go to asset browser and you just open one of these up. And we should see our character do the same things. So we've got a slight issue with the height root being changed there. Uh, 
Okay, so what's the issue we're seeing here? So this is probably something to do with a different root target. So let's take a look at the root targets that we've used here. Go to IK rig. I've got the root set to read target root there. And if I go to the source one, we type root there. I'm going to change this both to pelvis and see if that makes any better. So I'm going to set that back to retarget root on pelvis. Set that one to re to reboot retarget on pelvis as well. Let's see if that makes any change here. And it has immediately made a big change. So a lot better already. Test it out with a few more. And there is our game. Now you can see how the fingers haven't really adapted either. That's because they were outside of the chain. If I wanted to, I, would have, I could have gone further and gone in adding extra chains for each finger and they would be retargeted too. Um, as I say, it's a little bit more set up than you're probably used to or are familiar with because you're lacking that auto map uh, in the IK rig settings. Uh, but hopefully that will be in there sooner rather than later. But once you've got those done, you can then worry about exporting the selected animation. So you choose whichever one you want to select. So let's say I want to take this one. I click on export selected animations. It asks me where I want to put it. And I can just put it wherever I want. Let's just stick it here. And there is our guy using the animation. So it's a sort of like a big manager here where you can just choose and export whatever retargets you want to do right there and then. Now you can also do it the other way where you go into the animation uh, folder itself you can right click on one of these things and go to retarget animation assets so duplicate and retarget animation asset and in here you'll be asked to choose what retargeter you want to use you just choose the one you've set up and it'll do it all for you and it's pretty much the same way we can change where it's going to be stored hit retarget and there it goes okay so that is how you do retargeting in Unreal Engine 5 so there you have it, it's a very different system. However, it does have lots of pros that I quite like, such as the ability to have this one-stop shop where I can easily just pick out different animations that I need and one that is associated to a set of animations. So I can easily go and add new meshes to this and get them without any extra really major work. However, I can't wait for them to add that little feature in to auto map some common bone chains that we often use. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support. It's without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you again so much. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.